I can't believe I'm saying this, but happy 2022, everybody. It's not quite 2022 right now because I'm filming the day before the new year, but by the time this goes out, it will be 2022. I'm gonna start by wishing you all a happy new year. I wish you guys all the best for the new year ahead. I wish you happiness. I wish you peace. I wish that everything that you hold in your heart comes through this year. I really, really do. I hope you all had a wonderful, restful Christmas. I hope that you spent time with your loved ones. I certainly did. And I feel so much better for it. I really, really do. Until this morning. So obviously, like all of us, we've been laying about for the most of this time of year. It's been very grey in the UK, so I've not really been able to get out and walk and do the things that I would normally do. So I just wanted to get up and just be a bit productive today. So I got to sleep early, planned my day today, got ready. Last night I went to bed, couldn't sleep, it's really uncomfortable, not very positive at all. Woke up this morning, still feeling the same, got ready, and it's all just made sense in the last 20 minutes. I've just come on my period. That is why I've been feeling so terrible. I'm even feeling so stuffy in the sweater. It's not warm at all, but you know how it is, ladies. We burn up this time of the month. So I'm just gonna roll with it. I basically wanted to do a video sharing with you guys what I got for Christmas because I was blown away by the gifts that we got. The majority of them were plant-based and were sustainable. And we really just couldn't believe it because these were from people that are not necessarily plant-based vegan or live their life sustainably. So it really is just lovely that they've respected how we live our life and bought us things that resonate with us. Some of these things I've never seen before. They've gone and found them themselves. So it's really, really nice. It just shows how easy it is to buy people sustainable and plant-based gifts if you really want to. And also just to inspire whoever may be looking to gift anybody anything, maybe there's something in this video for you. I am so excited to get into this week's video and show you guys what I got. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. It really supports me as a creator. And once you've done that, we're gonna get on with this week's video. So one thing that we get quite often is a put together hamper. And I absolutely love these because a lot of thought has gone into them. And it's just, a box of joy really. So we got this hamper this year and I'm just gonna take you through what was in it. There's so many lovely goodies. We've got the Sackler Vegan Tomato Pesto. I didn't even know Sackler did a vegan pesto. For those of you that didn't know pesto was, wasn't was vegan, it isn't. Normal pesto isn't, it's got um, Parmesan cheese in it. Very frustrating for plant-based people, but they have got a vegan one. So I'm really, Excited to try that. Then there's some poi lentils from a brand called Merchant Gourmet. Another thing I love about these sort of things is that it introduces me to brands. I didn't know about this brand. I've never tried these. I've, I obviously know about Sakla, but I've never tried that. So it literally gives me a heads up about so many things that I probably should know about. But there's so many products coming out so quickly. I can't keep up on top of them all. I need your help and others' help. I've tried these before. These are absolutely delicious. They are from a brand called Shaw and they are the Scottish Seaweed Company. These are Sweet Sriracha Seaweed Chips. And I love everything about that. I love seaweed and I love Scotland <laughs> and I love this brand. So I'm excited to try these. I haven't actually tried this flavor. I can't remember the flavor I did try. It was quite a while back. Then we got some tomato passata. You always need passata in your cupboard. So it's a very useful, thoughtful gift. I love gifts that are just useful. So this one is from a brand called Cosari, which is an Italian brand. And it's a simple tomato passata in a lovely glass jar. This is a brand I've actually never used before. So once again, I've been introduced to another brand. I should know about it as I'm plant-based and I'm Italian, but there you go. We don't all know everything. Then we have some chocolate tiffin made with Belgian chocolate from a brand called Lazy Day. And it's free from gluten, milk, egg, wheat and it's obviously vegan. I don't remember the last time I had a tiffin, honestly, because they're just not available. Again, this is a brand I've never heard of. Most of this box, bar like two products, were all new to me. I'm excited to crack these open. I might do that later. I have to say that I'm very proud of myself for not opening any of this stuff. I had it all saved on the side to show you guys, so you're welcome. <laughs> so the next thing in here is something that 
I love and everyone knows I love and it is a box of Bouja Bouja chocolates. I can't think of anything more perfect in a gift than a box of Bouja Bouja chocolates. So this is their almond salted caramel truffles that are actually my favorite flavor too. I'm so excited to get into these. It has actually been a minute since I've had some Bouja Bouja because there's been other chocolate about. Then the last thing in this hamper is a vegan panatone. Vegan panatone makes my heart sing. I can't tell you how much I love it. We only ever obviously have them at Christmas. I feel that it's quite hard to get a vegan panatone, but we ended up with five vegan panettone this year. I think that is a record because we've never had that many. People have found them. So I'll show you this one and I'll actually show you the other brands. So if you are ever looking for a vegan panettone, you know where to get them from. So this one is from a brand called Vergani and it is their vegan panettone. It's obviously an Italian brand. They do normal panettone as well, but it's so nice to see that they are doing a vegan one. I am so excited to get into this. I'm not gonna lie, I have, had one panettone already we had it over christmas and it was from a friend that actually came from italy and it was from italy like i can't tell you how delicious this panettone was it was chocolate orange flavor and it was from salerno which is near where i'm from it's on the amalfi coast it's near from where i'm from in italy and it was absolutely delicious i lied when i said i didn't open anything because i opened that but i wasn't planning to show you that but i will show you the other three of these that I have in the kitchen. In fact, I'm just gonna go get them now, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I'm like the panettone monster right now. We also got one from Mindful Bites. They are actually stocked in Whole Foods. I saw them in Whole Foods, but I didn't see them in this sort of tin. So I'm not sure where this person got this one from, but I did see the boxed ones in Whole Foods. This is their, they call it vegan tone. Vegan tone? Vegan tone? I see what they're trying to do there, but I don't know if I can say it. Comes in this lovely tin. Oh, just got a whiff of it as I opened it. I need to put these away because I'm going to want to eat them. So that's the Mindful Bites one. Then we have one from a brand called Go Vegan. It's their Christmas cake. This one is made with sourdough, which is amazing. I love sourdough. Um, it's Biologica and it's the chocolate. So it's got chocolate pieces. We're so excited to try this one as well. And it's organic. So I'm trying to remember what the person said, where they got it from. They're a friend in the UK. So they got it somewhere in London. I'll link it below for you. I just thought it was so thoughtful. They really went, made an effort to go and get this for us because they knew that, you know, we're vegan and we love panettone and they couldn't just get us a normal panettone. This person's Italian, so it's quite natural for us to just gift each other panettones and it's easy with like normal panettones, but this was a real effort. So we really, really appreciated it. So that brand is Go Vegan. And then this one, I'm not gonna lie to you, this was actually a gift to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we were searching and searching and searching and where else would we find something that we love but tk max this is from a brand called milano veg or veg and it's the vegan christmas cake but we don't like the candied fruit so there are there is an option i think it's a green box where you get the one with the candied fruit so we opted without it this one's made with the sourdough as well it's palm oil free and it says 72 hours long processing. We've actually had this brand before. I think we got it last year. It's absolutely delicious. I would recommend it for sure. These panettones are gonna last us all year because there is a lot to go to. I actually feel like I could just do a whole video on vegan panettone and give you my thoughts on each of them because as you can see, I've ended up with so many. I don't know if there's any other brands left. If there is any other brands left that I haven't mentioned guys, comment them below because it's always interesting to know. So that is my Panettone collection of 2021 to 2022. Next up, we got a box of nail varnishes. And obviously these are vegan nail varnishes. It's called Nail Kind. The brand is called Nail Kind. And it says up to 85% bio-sourced ingredients quick dry natural nail wear. This is a brand I've never heard of. I struggle with vegan nail varnishes or just nail varnishes in general. I only have ever used one brand and I'm not going to lie to you. It's not vegan or anything like that, but I am searching for a brand that I love. So maybe this is it. It says on the back, high performance, natural and vegan based on ingredients such as potato, corn and wheat. 
in nail varnish. That is amazing. Okay, so I'm really excited to try these. This color is definitely Stefania's color. I just don't get away with colors like this, but this is called Wine O'Clock and it is this deep burgundy red. It's absolutely gorgeous and it is exactly what Stefania wears. So she'll be stealing that one. In fact, these are all quite Stefania colors, but I will give them a go just to know and then I can buy my simple three colors, as you guys can see, is just, a, well, that one's missing. The tips come off. It is a manicure. White, pink, and clear. The nail colors I live by. This one is called My Harmony and it's like a mauve, which actually is quite nice. I might try that one actually, because it's a lot more subtle. I don't know why, I just don't suit really bold nail varnish. I think my nail beds are just too big. I'm not sure. And then the last one we have here is called Red Carpet, and it's a beautiful red. We'll, um, we'll definitely keep you updated on how these nail varnishes perform, but I just thought that was just such a lovely, thoughtful gift, and it comes in a little box like that. I'm actually going to head over to their website and just see what other colours they do, because I'm sure they do a French manicure. I'll probably just get some to try them out because I really, really, really want to stop using the brand I'm using because with nail varnish, it goes into your bloodstream very quickly. Your nails are porous and it just basically seeps through. And especially if you like you get, my, I mean, my nails are real, but if you get fake nails, they sand away the top of your nail, which makes them very, very thin. And then they put on the product. So it's really important that, that it's not toxic. But anyway, this isn't a educational video, it's just a gift guide, <laughs> but we'll move on to the next thing. This next gift, oh, like I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. I have been looking at this brand for so long and have been meaning to purchase something but just haven't got around to doing it. So when I saw it in my gifts, I was just so, so happy. And those of you that follow me on Instagram would have already maybe seen it. I have posted a reel. I couldn't wait. I've already used it, but it is a Alexandra K handbag. This brand is a Polish brand. They're based in Warsaw in Poland. You can get them on several other sites, but it is quite difficult. I will link where you can purchase them from. These bags are not cheap. They're the luxury end of sustainable and vegan handbags. These are built to last. And this is the bag. This is called the Faith Mini. I think it comes in a bigger size and I have it in the black. It comes in several other colors. There's like an olive, there's a blue, like a mauve, like a pinky mauve. Again, I'll link them below so you can go and check it out. But I wanted the black and this is it. So you've got this like top handle that you can hold it and you've also got a body strap so you can wear it like this which for me are just two key points with handbags at the moment it's also this lovely size like it's not too big it's not too small it fits everything i'll show you inside in a second so you've got the brand logo here alexandra k in like a gold i think it also comes in silver i'm not sure if it does in this bag but i know some bags you can get two choices i like the gold hardware and then on the back you have the placard i don't know if you can see that you can just about see that and it says this bag is animal cruelty free and vegan and then it's got the batch number i absolutely love that detail on the back they have it on all of their handbags and i just think it's so lovely then inside you can just see, you can actually see what I have in it because I've worn this. You've got two compartments. It's very simple. It's such amazing quality. I wore this the other day um, to the theatre and I had so many compliments on this bag. I can't tell you. People asking me where it's from. So you can really just see that it is a high quality crafted handbag. There's also, I took the label off, but I wanted to keep it so I could read to you what it says on the label that comes hanging on the bag so this is the label that comes on the bag and it says vegan and eco-friendly handbag this bag is animal cruelty free and vegan it again has the batch number and then it says alexandra k handbags and accessories are made of innovative eco-friendly high quality vegan fabrics all bags and accessories are made with passion in our own workshop in poland each bag is made especially for you 
It has its own series number, which makes it one of a kind. In 2014, we've received PETA Vegan Award for the best handbag. We are PETA approved vegan brand. This gives you guarantee of checked suppliers. We are also part of Free Fur Retailers Organization and Human Society International. We are a sustainable brand. We always look for new innovative fabrics that are not only vegan, but also environmentally friendly. And that's a bit about the brand. I, like I said, have been looking at this brand for quite a while now, and I'm just so, so over the moon to get my hands on one of these. I can't tell you. And there are so many others I want, and I will build my collection over time. But I just feel that a brand like this has just really set the bar high. And when you've got bags like this, you don't really need to look at other luxury brands to get the same quality. You're getting the luxury, the sustainability, and the vegan fabrics all in the one brand. That's what sold it for me. So this is my new edition of bags. I think this is my second, no, this is my third sustainable vegan handbag. And yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon. I hope you guys love it. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Did you know about this brand? This was a present I was very happy to see. So the next, gifts we got which were just so thoughtful was some lifesaver bottles so we were actually talking to a friend and he told us about these and then we were like oh we really want one of those and he actually went and got them for us for our presents so basically a lifesaver bottle is a ultra filtration water bottle that so this one produces up to 4000 liters of clean sterile drinking water by removing all microbiological contamination from any water source so this is part of like your lifesaver kit and i always feel that you need a lifesaver kit around because you just don't know what's going to happen especially with what's going on in the world today this is something that i just think that you should have in it so i'll show you what it looks like this is oh, Oops. <laughs> this is how the bottle comes. It says Lifesaver bottle on it. You've got the filter in there and it just seems pretty simple. I mean, I haven't, I haven't actually had a proper look at it and I've never used one before, so I'm not going to advise you on it, but to get 4,000 litres of sterile drinking water from any water source, that is life-saving. Don't you think? I'm sure you can buy filters with this too. So you can have more than 4,000 litres. Also comes with like a strap. There's an instruction manual there. I mean, this would have to be a whole other video because like I said, I've never used anything like this before. But I just thought it was such, such a thoughtful present. I know it's not vegan or sustainable. Well, it is kind of sustainable because you're getting water from any source. We really thought that was such a thoughtful, thoughtful present. Means to find you've got one each and we will get some more filters just to have. Better to be safe than sorry. It's so lovely to know how much attention is paid when you speak. This is a brand that I use regularly. I'm, I'm a huge fan. It does wonders for my skin and somebody got me a little kit of it. So it was really, really lovely to see. This one is from Ren and it is their Ready Steady Glow range so you've got the vitamin c gel cream the daily aha tonic and the renewal mask i don't actually think i've tried that so there's one of the products that i haven't tried but it comes in this little box and it's travel size and 2022 is definitely going to be full of travel for me because i haven't done any in 2021 like any whatsoever so this is perfect and yeah, it's just so lovely to get gifts that you actually use and you would go and purchase yourself. So this was very, very thoughtful. And another thoughtful, thoughtful gift. This is coconut oil, a jar of coconut oil, which we always need. It's from a, a fantastic brand. It's from the Coconut Merchant. We actually use, but they put a little spin on it and this person wanted us to try it. So this one has turmeric in it. I've never seen it and I've never tried it. Another really thoughtful gift. We were really, really pleased to see that one. Oh, and this one. Oh my God, when I saw this. So myself and Stefania have always, always been huge lovers of baklava. It is a, a food that we don't, we don't, ha I don't remember the last time I had it. I, it probably was before I was vegan because 
baklava isn't vegan. I think they use butter. Yeah, I think it's butter that they use. I'm not sure, and maybe egg. So this person knows how much we love baklava and they went out of their way to find a vegan baklava box. And not only vegan baklava, it's handcrafted. Honestly, could not believe it when we opened it. So, so thoughtful. It's from a brand called Chateau de Mediterranean. Never heard of them before. And it's an assorted box of baklava that I'm very proud of myself for not opening because this would have just been ripped off and I would have just eaten them all, which is probably what I'm gonna do after this because the video's done, so I don't need to save it for anything. You know what it is with these gifts? It's, you know, for the fact that it's something that you love and it's hard for you to get, but it's the fact that this person has gone out of their way to find it. And this person isn't vegan either. So yeah, it was really, really, really thoughtful. And yeah, cracking that open shortly. <laughs> we also got a ton of chocolate, which we're always happy to see. These are from Raw Halo, a brand I've spoken about on my Instagram before many times. So this is, uh, we've got dark and salted caramel, milk and vanilla, and dark and pink Himalayan salt. So three bars there. And we also got a full box of more chocolate. So this is from Conscious. And you can see there is a ton of bars in here. This brand is called Conscious and they have a huge range of flavors. Um, again, a brand that we used to buy quite often. It's not a brand we buy very often now just because we buy brands that sell more bulk. So we get more for our money, but it is lovely to see and revisit a brand that we love. I'll quickly run through the flavors. You've got the dark side, 85%. We've got Love Potion, which is rose and maca with Peruvian cacao, sweetened with coconut blossom. Four nuts, um, citrus zest, peppermint, goji and coconut, which is one of my favorites. I can't wait to eat that. Orange and tangerine, another delicious flavor. They're all delicious, to be honest. Oh, this one's amazing. Maca and spirulina in that bar. And chia and coconut. This one's lovely. It's got great texture. So, again, such a thoughtful gift. And we are well stocked for chocolate. I think we're well stocked for a lot of things at the moment. Another thing we got was a hand cream from Neil's Yard. Neil's Yard is such a lovely brand and it is called Be Lovely Hand Cream. Stefania and I live for hand creams in our handbags, specifically Stefania more than me, but we love a good hand cream. And this one's from Neil's Yard, like I mentioned, which is a fantastic brand. It also says help save the bees on it. So that's another lovely, thoughtful gift to receive. So we're very happy with that too. The last thing I wanted to show you, is this the last thing? I think it is, it is the last thing. It's funny, but it's also very useful and very sustainable and yeah just it was just a great gift i thought it was definitely thinking out of the box and i don't know how this person came across them but i suppose he's just a very good gift getter this is an entire box of toilet roll very beautifully packaged may i add so when we received this we were told not to open we couldn't open the box but all we could see let me show you on the box was, I know it's reading backwards because of the way the phone's flipped, but it says, who gives a crap? So the whole time we were like, what the hell is that? What do you mean who gives a crap? We weren't sure if they wrapped it in a different box. They put fragile on it to throw us off because clearly toilet paper isn't fragile. So we opened it and saw that it was a box of toilet roll, which is nice. But then we actually looked at the toilet roll. The brand is called who gives a crap? I'm sure it's called who, because it says stock up at whogivesacrap.org. I'd never heard of this brand before. Stefania said that she had done, but I hadn't. And it is a sustainable, 100% bamboo, no inks, dyes or scents, toilet paper. How amazing is that? It says, give yourself a pat on the bum. And it, they all come individually wrapped. It's all sustainable obviously i mean even if i open it you'll just see it just looks like regular toilet paper it's very very soft like it's not doesn't feel like thin you know you can sometimes get those thin ones and it's um it just says who gives a crap premium and i just thought that this was such a good gift so we're now stocked up on toilet roll which is great 
something that we don't need to go and buy. But also we've been introduced to a brand that is sustainable and is safe to be using. Because I'm not sure if you guys know, but regular toilet paper, most of them are dipped in bleach. It's full of dyes and inks, like it says on here. And we're, we're, we're wiping that on very sensitive areas. You really need to think of everything, don't you? I mean, even tampons, I think I've mentioned this before, how they get these things so white, even tea bags, is by dipping that in bleach. That's an ingredient that we don't wanna be putting anywhere near us, anywhere near us. This was a funny, but very useful gift to receive. It really had us questioning and guessing for weeks as to what this was and it was very hard to conceal under the christmas tree this huge box but yeah it was a very very thoughtful gift as i said with everything i'll link these below for you if you guys want to start being a bit more conscious about your toilet paper then who gives a crap it's definitely a brand you want to check out <laughs> and that guys is the end of this week's video I think I've shown you everything. I don't think I've missed anything out. If I have, I'll just show you guys over on my stories on Instagram. It's at honestly Alessandra if you're not following me already. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I don't mean this to be a video of like, oh, look what I got, put it in your face, but more sort of educational and inspirational. Because honestly, I was so shocked with the gifts we got. Like we were sitting there for a good 10 minutes just blown away by how thoughtful everyone had been so i just wanted to pass that on to you guys do remember to comment below guys let me know what you thought of this week's video and the things i've shown you do you know any of these brands have you got any questions about them comment them below and i will get back to you remember to subscribe to my channel and i mentioned i'm over on instagram Woo! well i got through this week's video i'm gonna go now guys because i'm starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable but guys look after yourselves Stay safe and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.